I'm going to show you a training and enrichment game combined that I relied on super heavily last week whenever I was really sick and couldn't do a whole lot with my dogs. All you need for this one is your dogs, some high value treats or medium value treats, something that's going to be easy for your dog to find if you throw it into your dogs and somewhere to sit. Okay, so I have my treats right here. I'm actually just using, this is the um, Instinct freeze-dried raw little clusters. The dogs really like these. And um, they're a little harder to find because they're frozen. So if you're doing this with your dogs for the very first time, I would use something that is a little bit more potent than these. Something like um, some pieces of meat, steak, chicken, um, little bits of cheese so your dog can actually sniff it out a little bit easier. But I'm going to make this harder for my dog since they've done this before and use these frozen treats that are a little bit harder to smell, but they do really like them. Okay, so I'm going to just sit on the couch and initially I'm just going to toss Fen. I'm going to toss each of the dogs Wrigley treats to go find across the room and that's exactly where we're going to start with this. All right, guys. <coughs> Okay, ready? Fen! Wrigley! Fen! Good job, Wrigley! Fen! Nice, Wrigley! So if you do have two dogs, they do need to have some manners with taking food. If I say Fen's name, that means the treat that I'm about to toss is for him. If I say Wrigley's name, that means that treat is meant for her so they don't go for one another's treats. I work on that concept first if that is something that you need to work on between your two dogs. It's gonna make this game a lot more functional, but this is great because I'm just sitting on the couch and whenever you're sick and can't do a whole lot, that's all you can do. They are getting their heart rates up by chasing the toss treats. And so they're getting a little bit of exercise in there and they're having to kind of sniff out where the treats are landing. Now, what I'm gonna add into this is some training. So I'm also going to start to ask them for known behaviors. If you're just doing this for the first time, make sure to ask for well-known behaviors initially and then increase expectations over time. So I'm gonna to start to ask the dogs to do a specific behavior and then that gains them access to the toss treats. The marker cue that you guys are gonna hear me use is the word toss. That for my dogs means nice job for what you just did. That was what I was looking for. Go find the tossed food. Okay, Wrigley, sit. Good girl, down. Good boy, Ben. Wrigley, down. Sit. Wrigley, toss. Good. Ben, toss. Good job. Okay, Wrigley, come closer. Toss. Come closer. Back up. Toss. Fan, come closer. Fence it. Ooh. Toss. Good boy. Wrigley, back up. Toss. <coughs> Fan, one. One. Wrigley, right? Right. Wrigley, toss. Ben, free. Toss. Wrigley, sit. Toss. Ben, touch. Toss. Wrigley, touch. Toss. Well done, Wrigley. Good, that's all I got. Nice job. 
And that's really it. It's a variation of a game I've done in the past, but this one specifically came in handy whenever I was on the couch sick and could not move very much. Um, again, if your dog struggles, Wrigley kind of struggled a little bit just because she's tired already with this exercise. And if your dog is struggling with the things you're asking them to do, make those things a little bit easier. Wait them out. Let them think about it. Um, and toss food is way more exciting than hand-fed food. So if they need a few hand-fed treats in order to follow through with the behavior and not get too excited about the toss that's coming, then do that. Reward them initially just for doing the behavior and then give them a toss treat as a secondary treat. But play this for five, 10 minutes and your dog should be fairly satisfied afterwards. If this really amps and hypes up your dog, that's normal. Um, Fen wants to actually play with the toy right now, so I'm gonna play a little bit with the toy right now, but you could also give out something like a licky mat to help your dog actually calm down after you're done playing this game. So, hope you guys have a good time with it at home. It's simple, it's easy. You can vary what you do with it. You could toss the treats up the stairs, down the stairs. I wouldn't do that with any dogs younger than um, about two, just for that hard impact on their joints, but this is a great game. It'll tire your dogs out and work on some training concepts at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next video.